Hi, everybody. I just want to come on today. Actually, I'm being pushed to come on today. I'm being inspired to come on today. It is my day off. So, but usually if the spirit will pushes me to just record something, there's a reason for it. So let's see if this resonates with some of you. Um, I want to talk about trusting the process and staying the course with your development, about moving forward, about trusting the spirit world enough to understand that they are way more intelligent than we are, and they know what we need to move forward with our progression on our spiritual development and with our mediumship development. A lot of times when we're working with spirit, we'll make tremendous progress and we'll shoot up very quickly and then it stops and then it goes backwards. Then it goes forward, then it stops and it goes backwards. And I don't believe that this ever ends. I think we're always developing. And I also believe after we pass and go to the spirit world, we are continuing to develop, to evolve, to progress. So if you improve and you're getting better and you're understanding what the spirit world is impressing through you in terms of evidence of survival of so-called death, that's great. But then if you're not seeing improvement and you sort of feel like you're just treading water, that's where you have to be grateful for that pause, because I do feel it's within the pause of our development where they keep us just at one level. That's where the work starts to happen below the surface. And that's where our foundation becomes quite firm and strong, because none of this is going to work if your foundation isn't strong. If your understanding of the mechanics of spirit communication, of mediumship, is not secure. Think about it like this, with a tree, when the roots start to grow down to the ground and secure that tree to the earth in the ground, that tree becomes, you cannot move that tree once the roots become strong enough. And the roots will also bring up nutrients to that tree to feed the tree. So that's what I think about when I go into a, like, a, like a pause period in my development where I'm not seeing progress, but I know something's happening. And in the beginning of my development, I definitely got very frustrated by that, where it would go very quickly in terms of my development, and then it would just stop. And I'm like, what's happening? Nothing's happening. I'm doing something wrong. I'm not hearing spirit anymore. It's all very quiet. But what I've learned and what I've been told by the spirit world, it's really within the pauses that that's so important to our development because that's really when they're working on our strength on our convictions on allowing all of this knowledge and all of this wisdom to just go down through our subconscious into our spirit so we can just be as strong as possible for them so they can work through us because that's what we really are. We're basically just vessels and conduits for the spirit world to work through. So if you shoot up really quickly and you might not be as, as secure, you might be like, oh God, that was really good. I hope it continues to be good, but I don't understand why, why I'm understanding spirit this way, or I don't understand why I'm getting the information that way. I hope it continues that way. And then when it doesn't, that's when people start to get really kind of freaked out. I'm not hearing spirit anymore. That's usually how I got all my information. Now I'm not hearing them anymore. Now I'm seeing them, but I don't understand what they're saying. They're showing me or I'm feeling them now. And so the spirit world, I feel, will keep moving Claire's to, to develop us because they really want sort of this well-rounded vessel. I'm not saying that we're all going to be masters of every Claire. That's, that's, that usually does not happen. But I do believe they want to create this well-rounded and well-formed vessel so at least we'll understand when the spirit world is bringing something through our, our clear audience, clear hearing, spirit hearing, or through our clairvoyance, clear seeing, spirit seeing, claircognizance, knowing, clair, um, clairsentience, feeling, smelling, tasting, all of these things. So at least we can understand what they're trying to bring through to us. So if we have a firm and a secure foundation that doesn't throw us off because i've seen a lot of mediums that i have the honor and pleasure of working with all of a sudden they're not hearing anymore and it's very unmooring in a way because then you you feel like well what am i supposed to do because that's that's how i heard spirit i just heard spirit i didn't see them i didn't feel them i didn't nothing dropped in to to clear knowing clear cognizance now what but if you're just secure 
enough and your foundation has been strengthened and you have the trust in the spirit world to know that they know what they're doing, they know way better than we do how to help develop us, then it, it doesn't throw you off so much. It's like, okay, so now I have to really set the intention of desire so spirit shows me more and let me understand what they're showing me, right? So that's fine if you stop, if there's a pause. And sometimes you'll go backwards. Sometimes you'll go backwards. A reading which won't be as good as they were yesterday. I feel you're only as good as your next reading. That's really how I feel. But don't think about that as a step back. Think about why that reading wasn't as good. What happened there? What, what misfired? that you weren't able to really understand what the spirit world was bringing through you. Where was your mindset? What was your mindset going into that reading? Were you a bit nervous? Were you bringing in your stresses or anxiety from your daily life, which is always an issue? You always have to try to remain as harmonious and even keeled in your mind as possible during a reading. Then you learn from that. I didn't get what they were saying to me. Okay, well, did you, did you try to work with that information and see if they would change it or morph it? Or, or, or remove it into something else that the sitter can understand or did you just start to get really frustrated? So I think they also take us a step back or two to sort of try to find our weak points so they can help strengthen that, which and then helps us with our foundations more, okay? And, and that's really the point because I, I find my, my foundation, that's like my home base. I keep going back to that home base. And to me, that's I've worked on the foundation and my understanding of mediumship, my own spirit and all of that stuff, building my power, my own healing journey. That's all within my foundation. And I can keep going back there. So hopefully, if something really throws me off, it might be what a, a, a teacher might tell me, a mentor might tell me, a, a circle member might tell me about, no, you're not doing it right. You need to do it like this. And if you're just beginning, it's like, oh, my God, I'm bad. I'm not doing it the right way, but I don't understand what they're telling me. I don't I don't get this. I'm not a good medium by it. And a lot of people will just stop with their development. But I think if you have the trust in the spirit world, you'll hear or feel it's OK if you don't understand the spirit world or, or experience the spirit world like other people. Why would you? You're unique. You're individual. Just just the same way that every spirit communicator is individual and they're unique. They feel different. Every spirit communicator feels different to me. My guides feel different. I know the difference between a spirit communicator and my guides. I know a difference between the guide that speaks through me when I do trans speaking demonstrations and my healing guide. But that just takes time. You just have to build your sensitivity. And the more you do this and the more you expand and grow and just trust the process, and stay the course, you'll understand all this. But I think a lot of the problem is that we have all of these needs and all of these wants about how we want to be, how we need to be, how we feel we, we need to develop. But give it up to spirit. Just take the hand of spirit and allow them to develop you. They know way better than you do where you will be able to help them fully. So. Don't think just because now you might be doing evidential mediumship that they won't move you into doing healing later or move you doing tr into trans mediumship after that. They will place you where they need you. They need us. We are their vessels and their channels, their conduits here in the physical world. They have no power here in the physical world without us, and they need to work through us. So really, at this point, I just tell spirit, use me. Just let me help you. Help me help you. And I just trust them. I try not to compare myself to other mediums or other healers because they will do things differently than I will. I think you have to be careful when you compare yourself. Oh, that person, they see spirit so well and they, they bring in such detail and they hear spirit and they can bring in the different spirit voices, the accents that they'll know if there's this, this spirit communicator, English was their first language or not, or they can hear, hear what the other language is or music and all these things. Great. You should always aspire to be better, but when you start comparing yourself to other mediums, it becomes very dangerous because we're all unique, right? Like we're all individual. So the way that I experience spirit will, will obviously be different from the way you experience spirit. 
right? So I'm always happy. I'm very curious and it intrigues me to talk to other mediums about how they experience the spirit world and how they're bringing to the information, but it doesn't mean that's going to work for me. And that's fine with me. I like that. Make it you. Be you, be new, be unique. Of course, you have to understand the mechanics of mediumship. Of course, you have to understand the way you need to deliver the messages and the evidence. That's clear because that you have to exude confidence and trust. But all of this just comes with time. It's step by step by step by step. I sort of think of my development, it's like an ocean and drips of water, drops of water going into the ocean. With one drop, it makes no difference. There's no difference at all, but like three, 400, 500, 600 drops filling the ocean at a time that slow progress starts to come, slow improvement starts to come. Understanding of my own spirit, understanding of the spirit world and what they need me to do. I don't know how important my needs or my wants are to the spirit world. I don't think they really care. I think they know what they want me to do. And all I can do is endeavor to understand what they need from me and how I need to get there. Actually, no, allow them to show me how to get there. Because listen, a lot of times I want to go right, go right, go right. I like going right. It's, it's more comfortable. It's sexier. I understand going right and spirit, the spirit world is saying, no, go left, go left. And you will fight that. That doesn't end because you have your human. I mean, they're human as well in spirit, but you have your living in the physical realm spirit way. And then your, your divine spark of God spirit way. And these will always come in conflict. But at some point with me anyway, I just learned, okay, so I wanted to go right. I went right and everything kind of fell or the power just left. The power just went through. So now, okay, let me try going the way spirit is pushing me to go. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening over there. I don't know where it will take me, but I'll go this way. And then the power went up. And it took me to a completely different space than I could possibly even have thought about. But at, so at this point, I, I try not to even question them anymore. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm doing that. I'm not sure where this is going to go, but I trust them. And inevitably, it's like a, it's like a links in a chain. And I can, I can track everything back now when I trusted spirit and just went the way that they told me to go as opposed to the way I wanted to go. So I rarely do things anymore that I feel like I want to do because that's usually, that's like my ego. That's me wanting to stay with the known and it's really within the unknown. And that's the way spirit will usually push you. And they're always, I find, will push you towards the uncomfortable, but that comes with trusting the process. The spirit world will always push you out of your comfort zone. And I don't really, like I said before, I don't think they care too much about my wants, my needs, my own personal comfort. They just push you forward because it's really within the uncomfortable when you feel vulnerable that the spirit world can start to work with you and through you better, I find. So just trust the process. Let them teach you. Let them teach you how, to, how they need to work through you and stay the course. Don't let anybody push you out of your power and off of your path. It will happen, okay? Trust that the right people are coming into your life. Trust that the spirit world is working it out somewhere. And sometimes I really feel it's like months before or years before we're actually doing something. They're putting together the right people and energy that will help you. They're putting the right people in front of you, but be aware, some people that they'll put in front of you these are a learning lesson. You're supposed to learn from these people. So the experience might not be a good experience, but you learn from it. And you learned how not to let someone push you off of your center. And what do you do when you pushed off your center? Because it will happen, it will continue to happen, is you just have to move back to your foundation and move yourself back to your center. Until, hopefully, when someone comes again, and like I said, they will, and tries to push you off by being critical, by telling you you're doing things wrong. Um, and if you know the intention that you're setting is pure and you understand 
the mechanics of mediumship to a point. What do I mean by mechanics of mediumship? That you're building your power. You're able to link with the spirit world. You're able to blend and strengthen the blend and strengthen the link and keep real building your power. You'll understand when this criticism comes, that's them. That's about them. That's not about me. Right? You'll be able to understand the difference between what is good for you and what's not good for you. You'll be able to understand that don't take in so much praise and don't let the good things that people are telling you, oh my God, you're an amazing meeting. That was such a great reading. And don't let that pump up your ego too much because when something comes that's negative, and that reading wasn't good because you didn't bring through the right spirit communicator. Uh, you got this wrong. You got that wrong. You got another thing wrong. Of course, you have to own that. Of course, you have to say, well, obviously, I wasn't getting something, but good. You have, that, you have to not have good readings to, to get better. It's normal. But at least when you get this negative feedback, it's not going to deflate you. It's, you're going to be like, okay, that wasn't great. But now I learned from that. I learned what I did wrong. Don't blame it on spirit. That's a whole other video. Don't blame it on spirit ever because it's nothing to do with spirit. It's you. They are coming to help and help develop us and bring through their evidence of survival of death. But don't blame it on them that they're giving you the wrong information or being vague or pulling back. It's you. I feel a lot of times when when spirit when people say um, spirit is pulling back. I don't hear them as well. That's because you're out of your power, however. Blaming it on spirit and all that, I'm, I'm going to do in another video at some point. But trust, have the faith and trust in yourself, have the faith and trust in spirit, and trust the process. This is a process. It's an, a process that goes back thousands of years. They know what they're doing, they know how to develop you, they can, un they understand the makeup of your spirit the makeup of your conscious and subconscious mind. They know how to work through you. Just literally feel like you're, just hold your hand out, let them take your hand and let them pull you. And you will see, they will put the right teachers in front of you. They will put the right books in front of you. They will put the right circles in front of you, classes in front of you. And they will bring people into your life. A lot of times, um, people that will come into your life, like I said, it's a learning lesson, which is fine. You just don't let yourself get too affected by it. Say, okay, I learned from that. Not doing that again. Move on. But on the positive note, on the, on the positive side of that, they will also bring like-minded people into your life. So you will be able to start to build your tribe, your clan, because we all need other mediums and other sensitives to talk to, right? Because they will help you as you will help them. We are all here to help each other. This is not a race. It's not a competition. We're all members of the same army of spirit workers here to help God and help the spirit world so they can help humanity. We, pay, we play an important part in that journey, right? We play an important part in the manifest of God, which is love, which is compassion which is to help everybody. Just see yourself as an important cog in that machine, the machine of love, the machine of eternal peace and compassion. That's a cycle. And we're all so lucky to be able to work with God and the spirit world to help them, to help them help humanity. We are helping humanity. We are helping our fellow man, our fellow woman, children, animals, the earth itself. We are helping to bring the spirit power, the spirit energy into the matter world, which will just make the world a better place. If you can just trust the process and stay the course, everything will be given to you that you need. It really might not be what you desire because that's different, but you will get what you need. You will get what they know that you need to help them. So 
see if you can just stop pl placing your your personal needs and your personal wants to spirit and just say i trust you and i surrender myself to you and i have the faith that you will give me what i need to help you that's the important part and and understand that your progression to stay the course the course is not linear right the course it will go like this and go up and go down and go around and go backwards and go forwards. That's part of it. That's progress. So no one should expect an easy ride with this. It's not easy. And believe me, a lot of times I, 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 I think about this. I'm like, well, why am I doing this? There's, there are much easier things to do with my life than this. And then immediately the surge of energy just comes because you were chosen because you want to help people, because you want to evolve, you want to progress. I want to understand everything in the world of spirit. I want to be able to touch the soul spirit of another person and help them. If I can just, if we can just help one other person in this world, now we have done our jobs, okay? So just trust the process and stay the course. And I promise you, you will end up feeling so good about yourself that you're helping the world and helping God. Because there's nothing God does without love. And God is love. So just see if you can keep this love and keep this compassion for all living beings within your spirit, within your soul. And, and the intention is really just to help. Help everything. Help everybody, help God, help the spirit world, help humanity, help the animal world, help the earth. And then you will see that they will just take you and guide you. And the world will be a better place. The world is a better place because of you. The world will continue to improve because of your efforts, because of your intentions. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. Um, I'm hoping this resonates with some of you. I I, I feel like I, I really stuck to what they were trying to uh, say through me and with me. So yeah, let me know if this video resonated with you. And I wish everyone a lovely day and I send you my love.